so guys now let us discuss how we will going to do node insertion in GL threads so let us discuss this with the help of an example so let us continue with our same structure of employee now we need to create objects out of this structure and we need to insert those objects into a GL thread now notice that to add an object to GL thread W link list, GL thread node itself has to be a member of the structure. So you can see that this employee structure has a member called GL thread node. Now this GL node actually acts as a glue. Glue means that using this GL node, the employee object will going to stick itself or in other words will going to insert itself in a GL thread. So one thing you can analyze here is that that programmer while at the time of writing a code the programmer declared GL thread node T as a member of this structure employee. It simply means that while designing the application the developer or programmer knew beforehand that he would going to add the object of type employee into a GL thread right that is why at the time of writing a code itself the developer mentioned one of the member of this structure as GL node which will act as a glue to hook up the object of type employee in GL threads now let us discuss in the next slide that how we can insert the object of type employee in GL threads so going forward you can see this diagram shows GL thread containing or consisting three objects of type employee so this is object 1 this is object 2 and this is object 3 all of the objects of type employee now using their last member that is GL node each of these objects have actually stick themselves to a GL thread right now if you have the address to this GL node you simply subtract the offset of this GL node to get the starting address of the object and once you get the starting address of the object you can access all the fields of this object right so given a pointer to a GL node how to get a pointer to the start of the object we have already discussed when we discussed the concept of offset now let us write a short program in which we will write an API which will allow us to insert an object into a GL thread. So let us say that the name of the API is GL thread add. The first argument to this API is a pointer to a GL thread list and the second argument to this function is actually a pointer to a GL node. So let me show you the implementation of this function and this function is pretty much simple and straightforward this function simply allows you to insert a new GL node to an existing GL thread